Yes, I'm here once again, a member of Bach Unicity International, and I'm here to have a discussion with you. So stay tuned. All right. So today's lesson will focus on the introduction to computers. All right. Let's look at the lesson objectives. On the screen, we have this define a computer, identify the uses of a computer, recognize the main components of computer and differentiate between types of computers. What is a computer? What is a computer? All right. So it's a computer is an electronic device. So first of all, that's one thing you should put in mind. That is what? An electronic device that accepts data. So when the data is accepted, a computer should be able to process the data to perform a particular task or a specific task. You can also say it is an electronic device that accepts data and processes the data into a meaningful information. For example, you enter two plus two, and then the computer will give you a response. Four. What are the uses of computer? One may ask. This one for storing and processing data. One of the days where we used to write almost everything. When leaving home to the market, we have to write because you can't forget. At this time, with the help of a mobile phone, on your way going, you just get a notification. Bang, bang, by A, B, C, D. Then there, you'll be able to follow and that lead, um, will take us to our next point. That is communicating through the internet. Now these pictures that you took at the parties, at church, at school, during the inter-schools, are you going to keep them to yourself? No you will definitely share with loved ones. It's a form of communication. Hello, Kojo. Have you received the picture? Check. Which one do you like? Form of communication. Very interesting. So these devices are able to help us. We play games. Now, because of internet, with your laptop, you can play game with a friend outside your country. You can watch movies, you can listen to music. So it doesn't make our living boring as compared to years back. Clear example is what is happening or what we are experiencing. If you are watching this video on YouTube, it's a way of learning. You'll be able to record one or two and keep one or two information, which is essential to your well-being. Last but not the least, this is business and office work. How do businesses benefit from computers? Go on TikTok. You see people recording their products. They record things that they sell when they say products. And people do contact them. I do buy a lot of things on the internet using my mobile phone. So you cannot ignore this as a benefit or importance of a computer. Main component of a computer. These are some of the you can also say features of a computer. What makes a computer or what comes together to make a device useful? So the computer system consists of one input device, two output devices, processing units, storage, software. What are some examples of input devices? So you have keyboard. On our mobile phone, we have keypad, we have mouse, scanner, and the next is output devices. Examples we have monitor, printer, and then a speaker. So, monitor. Now, on laptop, 
your screen is your monitor. But on the other side, that's desktop, you have the separate, you have the system units, and then you have a monitor, a TV-like device. We are, there are instances where you get your monitor, yeah, your monitor to also function as your system unit. Why? Because the system unit is embedded in the monitor or so it's part of the framework of the monitor that you see. So there's no separate um, device as system unit. That's interesting. So this should tell you that technology is advancing day in, day out. The reason you need to stay glued to this channel and acquire new knowledge. Let's look at storage devices. Do you know of what hard drive is? Have you heard of HDD, SSD? Add this to your notes. You will delve into it. Now let's look at processing units. That's the central processing unit, CPU. CPU can also be termed as the brain of the computer. In our next video or videos yet to yet to come videos yet to come we are going to look at why we should learn about cpu the importance of cpu and even the, the types of cpus that we have but the focus of this video is for you to have an idea of certain components of a computer you know without a operating system your device cannot function so I'm using Android phone, I'm using an Android phone, I'm using Apple, that's iOS. It is very common. The one that's not that common is Linux or the one we say Linux. Any way that you pronounce, the most important thing is you know the spelling L-I-N-U-S, Linux. These are operating systems. We have applications, applications like WhatsApp, like TikTok, Facebook. Mm, these are all and more that you talk about standing of the type of computers try and subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification button so that in, uh, any video from this platform will get to you and you'll be able to understand certain things now let's look at this computers come in different types based on their size and purpose and i'll tell you not only size and purpose as i said earlier stay glued to this channel we will break this down for you Mm, but also the year or the time that particular device was manufactured. Now let's look at some of the types. We have supercomputers, they're very powerful and used for scientific research. And they are very big too. We have mainframe computers, large scale computers used by organi organizations. We have personal computers, these are the ones we are using. So on the screen are the various types of computers that you can take notes of can do more readings on that and then if you look at this types too from the top to bottom for you not to forget you can also tell that the supercomputers are bigger than the mainframe and then mainframe is also or they are bigger than the personal computers and in that order let's turn to the questions for review so the first question is what is a computer and how is it useful in daily life? If you have really followed this video very well, you should be able to tell what a computer is and how a computer is useful in our daily life. The rest are questions that you need to ponder upon and then, if possible, submit your answers at the comment section. See you again. The name still remains Okran, O-C-R-A-N. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.